Hey, what's up, you guys? Well, I'm back. I know it's been a while. Uh, so, we're going to be doing a video on this guy here. Uh, what's his name? Akeem Pierre. And it's the sea moss fat. And this was the final draw for me. This is what caused me to really just throw the whole veganism thing out. When this sea moss thing came out, I hopped right on it like everybody else. And <laughs> let's just watch and I'll go out into it. Yeah. Yeah, there is so many videos. Google YouTube sea moss, you guys. YouTube sea moss recipes. There's so many, and this this really hit the uh, black community the hardest. Like you'll see a lot of African Americans, black folks. You know, really, this really hit hit that community the most, and it's really unfortunate, man, because it's BS. Like they said. <laughs> It tastes like the ocean. You guys don't want to take it right back. Then we're going to put some water. And the way the ocean is nowadays, like, do you really want to eat this stuff? Like, they say that, like, our ancestors had it, but I know my, my great-grandmother just passed away a few weeks ago, and I know for a fact if I showed her sea moss, she wouldn't know what the heck it was. I know that. And my grandmother wouldn't. She doesn't know what this is. And then we're going to add some more lime when you do the soaking. But this process, it's important that when you first get your sea moss, you welcome it to your home. Yes. Welcome, sea moss. Give thanks. Yeah, I'm a very spiritual person, but you're just bullshitting us. Dancing around, jumping around like this. What? Oh, jump, jump around. Like, it's going to chill out eventually. And you're going to actually hear it cool out. So, you'll see. What? I'm sorry, you guys. I just wanted to cook this guy's video because, like I said, sea moss was my sea moss was my breaking point. I had or I had found out that a lot of people grow it in pools and stuff now, and like, what is that? Like, we're we're eating plants grown in pools now with chlorine and all that stuff, and who knows what they're putting in it. And, and this guy really promotes it. This is why I made a video about this guy because he's obviously a vegan. I don't know if you guys can see. If you can't, go to his videos and just study him yourself. But he's clearly a vegan. I mean, I'm looking around <laughs> his kitchen right now. He has that outside fern on top of his fridge blocking the useful cabinet, trying to seem all planty. <laughs> Bro, I love meat. I eat all kind of meat now. I've always been a plant lover ever since I was a kid. Like, my grandmother has plants in her house. Like, that doesn't make you any different. Like, you can still be a, a regular person and have plants in your house. But put that fern outside where it belongs. Anyways. You're going to get a glass jar. And that's going to be... <sighs> this guy sounds like he's autistic or something. And I don't mean that in an offensive way, but it's just what it is. It's probably from drinking that sludge all the time. You guys, I tried it, and it did give me this energy, but it wasn't. It wasn't right, man. It was like coffee, I guess, and just I feel like my body was stressing out. My body was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I just can't. You guys get my point. Um, I'm trying to get the courage to do my vegan story myself, but until then, I'm going to continue to... I actually had this other video I'm going to make of this guy uh, with CMOS, so I'm going to post that as well. But don't do this, you guys. A lot of it's plastic, and it's not real. It's dangerous. Look at this guy. He's just a sellout. He's doing this to his community.